And the final speaker of this interfaith session is Dame Professor Meher Master Moose. Shnao Thrower Mazdao, Namasata Atash Mazdao, Rahudao Mazishta Yazata. Ashem Vohi Vaishte Masti Ushta Asti Ushta Mai Yata Shahi Vaishtahi Ashem May the blessings of Park Dada Uramazda, Almighty Creator of the Universe of Light, Energy, and Matter. The blessings of all the Amesha Spentas and the Yazatas, the blessings of all the deities, the blessings of all the good and holy departed souls, the blessings of Shah Bairam Vazavan Sahib, the Prince of Peace of the Aquarian Age, the blessings of all the holy Abed Sahibs. May all blessings be bestowed on all the gracious people of the whole world, and especially to Dr. Hari Prasad Kanoriyaji and his gracious wife and his family and his team, including Dr. Rahul Verma, who has brought this Sri Foundation on the platform of the United Nations this year. May their blessings be bestowed to everyone that each soul is happy and makes others happy. Now I would like to request Elbert Jal Pesadia, a Parsi priest who is connected with our Zoroastrian college and prays there every day to recite the Yatha Ahu Vairyo, which is the Avastan prayer for head, heart, and hand, the confluence of all the powers that are presented in this 12th confluence of humanity, power, and spirituality. Yada Vairyo Yada Ratus Asa Chitta Cha Vange Us Das Damaningo Shot Ninenam Vange Us Must Die Shot Rim Chai Ahurai Ayem Darikupyo Dadadvastarem. With this sound power, it is the power of all the colors of the rainbow, the creator of the universe of light, energy, and matter, has created this magnificent rainbow of colors which represent all the faiths. And it is the greatness of Dr. Hari Prasad Kanoriyaji to have brought all of us together in this confluence for all the faiths to be here today. We'd like to present this to you. There's a saying, there's every, behind every great man, there's a great woman. But I would say in Amastya that it's alongside every great man, there is a great woman. And I would like to say what a great lady is there alongside Dr. Hari Prasad Kanaraji in the form of his gracious wife. This coming year, the United Nations is holding its 25th celebration of the Beijing Women's Conference, that is the CSW 64. And the target is, the goal is 50-50 by 2030. That's the slogan. So all the ladies would be very happy to know that at the global level, all the souls that are present on planet Earth are being urged to be equal and share their happiness equally. Now, I would like to say something very serious. Planet Earth is dying. Um, why is it dying? 
the scientists have found out, it is the Swiss scientists after Hiroshima bombing who discovered by keeping meticulous records of the glacial ice that was melting in the glaciers of Switzerland. What is the ratio proportion of oxygen in the water, in the ice? When we were young, in school, we learned the ratio of 21% oxygen, 78% hydrogen, and all the other gases in between. But it is the devastation of nuclear radioactivity and nuclear bombs that has created this devastation on planet Earth of lack of life force. The blue color of oxygen, the life-giving gas, is steadily getting depleted. And it has, in 1993, it had dropped to 10%. By the year 2000, it had dropped to 7%. And here, in the Times of India, on the 10th of December, is a stark headline, oxygen levels down in ocean by 2%, marine life threatened. Marine life not only in Pacific Ocean where the Hiroshima bomb was dropped, but all over the world, the waters, the soil, the air is being depleted of the life force of oxygen, the blue gas from planet Jupiter, the blue color. What can we as human beings do to restore this level of oxygen? Our ancient Shastras have given us this wisdom and all of us should practice, which we can do very easily in our own homes. Please take a deep breath and hold your hand like this under your nose and breathe out and see which nose is blowing out with more force right now. How many have the right nose in more force? Hands up. And how many have the left nose in more force? And how many are about equal? You see, the nose is like a bicycle pedal. It, every 44 minutes, it changes its outflow and inflow. And so, when we are breathing in, we take in all the colors of the rainbow of light from the sunlight, and we eat the sun by giving the oxygen blue color along with all the other colors in the right proportion. If we do this very simple breathing, ancient Caucasian system of yoga daily practice. How do the rishis live in the mountains of the Himalayas for 500 and 600 years without eating one piece of food or drinking a drop of water? This ancient wisdom is there, and they're practicing it. Eat the sun. We are, when we breathe in all the colors of light, every cell of our body gets all the light energy it needs and we can survive and live. This is the answer to the threat that is faced by planet Earth of death force through radioactivity, atomic explosions, carbon emission, and all the wrong things that human doing beings are doing to destroy the planet. In our center, in the countryside near Sanjan, we are endeavoring to create a spiritual white light center where good people, like all of us here, can come and stay and pray together and do the mantras that create the white light. 
I demonstrated to you just now the Ashim Vohi. The E sound produces blue color. This morning, Dr. Manisha Kanuria Loya recited the Gayatri Mantra, produces all the colors of light. It is the, the Jains have the Namukar Mantra. It is the power of Mantravani that has the power of life force and restoration of good health to planet Earth that we can regenerate our beautiful planet and pass it on to our children and grandchildren and future generations in a condition better than what we received it from the previous generation. I would like to say how happy I am to be here at this 12th confluence. I've had the privilege of attending each and every confluence from the very first. And this is a union of hearts of friends. It gives me such great inner happiness to meet so many friends here every year. And I really thank and appreciate the Sri Foundation and the Kanoria family, especially its outstanding head, Dr. Hari Prasadji Kanoria and his wife, who is the backbone of all the whole family, and their support, Dr. Rahul Verma and all the other team who organizes this conference. My sincere thanks to them all. I would like to say that we must remember a warning that was given by the poet Coleridge in the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Water, water everywhere, and yet the boards to shrink. Let us all together today, unitedly make a resolution that through the power of the confluence of head, heart, and hand, that is Manashni, Gavashni, Kunashni, good thoughts, good words, good deeds, which is what our holy prophet Vakshure Vakshuran Ramska Osho Spitam and Zathrushra Paikam promoted and taught for the benefit of the whole of humanity that our human humanity and all that lives on it will live and not perish. Thank you. Thank you so much.